What's up Genshin Impact fan, welcome back to the channel and today I'll troubleshoot this insufficient storage space, please ensure the sufficient space and try again and it gives you an error code called 9907. Even though I made the same video about a year ago, well, a lot of people say that didn't work. However, I'm going to give you an ultimate guidelines that will 100% work for every iPhone out there. Now before I show you anything else, first you gotta head over to settings on your iPhone. Come to the general. And here, you have to head over to your iPhone storage. Now, please be very careful about your storage. Now, in order to play the Genshin Impact on your iPhone, you need to have at least 40 gigabyte free storage. I repeat, 40 gigabyte storage. It's a very massive game to play. So, um, if you see, well, you have less than 40 gigabyte storage on your iPhone, then all you gotta do, guys, is gotta scroll down and find out the apps or the games that you don't wanna use anymore. So, you can come right up here, select the apps or games, and then tap delete, tap delete app or game. So, you have to do the same things for other apps if you don't want to use them on your iPhone, and make sure you are actually freeing up your stores up to 40%. Now, the next thing that you guys can actually do here, um, you can actually do it from here, it's just review your video, or for everyone, you can head over to your photos app on iPhone, open that up, and once you come over here, so all I want you guys to do is just come out over to the album here. So most people it might be on the library, just tap album, scroll it down and tap videos. Now, video takes a lot of storage on your iPhone. So if you come over here, select it and select the video that you don't want to use anymore or don't want to watch anymore. So tap delete here, do the similar process with your photos as well. So you can head over to the selfies or live photos and you can select the photos that you don't want to keep on your iPhone, tap delete tab delete photos and you gotta go back like you have to make sure you are actually clearing your stories though right after deleting your photos and videos you gotta scroll down and tap recently deleted because everything is actually comes up here so come over here tap select and make sure you're actually making this folder empty so i'm gonna select everything here tap three dot tab delete and tab delete from this iphone do the same thing for other apps so let me tell you what you're gonna do next you're gonna have to go to your um iphone iMessages and then you have to select the iMessages that you don't want to keep on your iPhone. Same thing if you are going to do it from here, it's going to have a very good impact on your storage. So tap delete, tap delete again and tap filters, tap recently deleted and then select all of that, tap delete, tap delete from here. Now the next thing that you have to do, you got to do the same things with your file. So simply type file here and open up the folder. Again, you have to find out the photos or videos that you don't want to keep on your iPhone. So I'll tap on my iPhone and here it says, oh, my iPhone is empty because I actually have deleted everything here. So you can check the download and then you can tap three dot, tap select here. You can select the photos and videos that you want to delete. So tap delete here and the files are going to be deleted. At the very same time, you got to go back here, go to the browse and now tap recently deleted. Again, you have to delete all the things from here as well. So I'll just select it and I'll delete all of the things from here. And now, after clearing out your files and folder from photos, messages and the games or apps, the next thing that you have to do here, you got to head over to settings and now you have to actually go to the general and scroll down and tap VPN and device management. So if you have installed the beta version for iOS or any iOS, I would suggest you go ahead and delete that beta. If you don't want to use it, it will give you more storage. Now go back and just open up your iPhone stores again. And now take a look at your storage. Just take a look at this, whether you still have 40 gigabyte free storage or not. So if you haven't got 40 gigabyte storage, this will not work. So make sure you're actually doing it and you're making your stories up to 40 gigabyte in order to play the game. And now the last thing that you have to do here is go ahead and to restart your iPhone. Sometime it might take some time to clear out the story. So you, should, you can literally do that. And now go ahead and just try to play the game or install the resource file all over again. And I can tell you after that, it will work and you will be able to install the Genshin Impact right on your iphone now still if you guys have any more questions regarding this topic or regarding any game that you're currently playing please do let me know in the comment section see you all around